Excuse the hurried nature of this video. It's a bit of a mishmash, this video, in all honesty. At the moment, I'm just getting ready in about two minutes to record the Norwich preview with Geo. But I wanted this, is, this, is, this video is a little bit different anyway. I wanted to introduce something, aside from the fact that there's a, a gorgeous model getting their kit off. You don't want to miss that. We've also, look, we always ask you for videos, send videos in. Somebody sent in some audio, and I think it's excellent. You'd recognise him, his name's Dom. In the comments, is my showbiz name. He's going to talk about West Ham for a few minutes. Uh, I really like it, but also it opens up, if you want to send in, basically, if you want to send in some audio, please feel free to do so. If you want to write blogs for us, you can write blogs for us. If you want to send in a video, send in a video. If you want to, if you, not everyone wants to put their face all over the internet. I understand it. If you just want to send in your opinions on audio, you're more than welcome to do so. Thank you very much indeed, Dom. I just want to say also, before um, before I start off, I want to thank everybody for leaving so many comments under the videos. Actually, the interactions on their last few days have been excellent. Even on um, opinions that we don't agree on, disagree on, some of the arguments on there, the people reasoning with each other and, and get argument and counter-argument, it's exactly how it should be and I've really enjoyed replying to them reading to them I'm watching some of your interactions with each other as well so keep it up thank you for watching thank you for joining in as much as anything and I'm um, sorry I'm moving that around quite a lot I know and yeah thank you Dom um hey, before we get to Dom there's uh there's basically an idiot talking so I've got another parcel from West Ham United when I say I say it's from West Ham United, there are actually no distinguishing features on the parcel at all. So I mean, it could just be a, it could be it could be a duvet cover or something that the missus ordered. In which case, it won't be a particularly entertaining video, will it? A, a, basically, a box opening of a duvet cover. Although, in all honesty, during the coronavirus, I was scratching around for any sort of content at all. I probably would have done something like that if it had gone on much longer. But we'll have a look. Like Christmas, isn't it? So it is. Da, 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 da. I don't know why I'm doing a strip tease song. The strip tease will come in a minute. First one. Alright. Second one. There, there. There we go. Dear Gonzo, thank you for all the lovely things you have been saying about me recently. Your friend's always moisy. It's nice, isn't it? That's, that is nice. That's a nice touch. Let's have a look what we got. Now, I looked, I looked at the, um, there you go, by the way. You, you, want me to, you want me to model it, don't you? I know you do. You want me to model it. You want to see this fine physique inside this very fine shirt. I just couldn't bring myself to pay for the new shirt. I went and looked, and I paid, even though this is marked up at... This is marked up at 35 quid. I'll see what I paid for this. 14. This was 14 quid. That ain't bad, and to be fair... I like it a lot better than the new shirt. So, uh, so I just got that one. Anyway, um, I should, it's not it's not an advert. I'm not advertising the club shop. I'm just showing you what I got. And this... is the equivalent... Oh, I've actually... Do you know what? I actually thought that was the... I thought I had the zip all the way down. Oh, well. I still take it. That's all right. How much do I pay for that? Twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty. Right. With the magic of editing, there you go. Not a bad one. I'm quite happy with that, actually. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that one. That's good. I, I I bought it accidentally, but I quite like it. It feels like I'm being choked slightly, but uh, that's all right. Have a look on the monitor. Yeah! That'll do. That'll do. Very snazzy. The garment is transformed. 
when you open it up, I am feeling very retro, very 70s. I am feeling Tom Jones. Probably not. Probably wrong. Sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? I'm not, I'm not touched him. But I'm saying it's a bit Saturday Night Fever. I, I would like a medallion. Anyway, you've not chewed it for this, have you? So Burnley, Burnley was disappointing, wasn't it? More disappointing than I thought it would be. And I think probably that's because I thought we'd, we'd do something against Burnley. I think I'm one of those people who always underestimates just how efficient they are, how good at what they do they are. But you still look on paper, you look at what they've got and what we've got and keep asking yourself, why can't we beat teams that on paper we should be beating? That's That's what worries me for the rest of the season is that you look at the names we've got on paper, you look at the teams we're playing, and you say we should be beating some of these teams on paper. Well, we haven't been beating the teams that we should be beating on paper all season, so what's going to change now? I'm worried about Norwich. I'm worried about Norwich. And the pessimist in me is thinking, well, they've lost to pretty much everyone else. Of course, it'll be West Ham, the team that they beat. And I'm just very nervous you know, we've we've had opportunities and it feels like in, in a different sense. Last season, we had lots of opportunities to get ourselves into European positions. We couldn't manage it. We choked. This season, we're getting opportunities to get ourselves away from the threat of relegation. We're not managing it. There just seems to be, a, I don't know, a lack of strength, of uh, mental strength. And how you judge that at the moment with what's going on, you know, it must be even more difficult to know because it's it's uncharted territory. I hope we'll be all right. As Charlie said in, in one of the videos on uh, Hammers Chat, if, if we're not, if we go down, we deserve it. We've, we've got the easiest fixtures on paper. We've got lots of talent in the squad. And if we go down, we will deserve it. It's just hard to take, isn't it? Why are we the team that just always fails to achieve its goals? It's like we're the... Del Boy of the Premier League, we're, we're always trying to be something more, we're always reaching for the stars and falling short. And maybe one day we'll be millionaires, perhaps, and Abramovich type will come in, but it's hard to see it, isn't it? And we had billionaires owning, <laughs> owning West Ham before. What happens when a billionaire owns West Ham? They go bankrupt and bring down the world's economy. Well, that's what it's like being connected to West Ham. I feel like I'm 20 years older. Norwich is a massively important game. It's the easiest game that we're going to have for the rest of the season. I don't trust us against Watford and Aston Villa, but we might get ourselves to a situation before that where we're okay. But we, we've really got to do something against Norwich. And I worry that too many of the players are knackered now and their replacements haven't really had enough football to to indicate to any level that they're going to be able to come in and do a job. That said, I think Moyes needs to make a couple of what will be, in his mind, risky decisions, and that may well be Ben Johnson at right back. He's made he's made a risky decision before in Ngakia. Going by Frederick's performance against Burnley, surely that can't be seen as too risky a call to make. Wilshire, Wilshire needs to get some minutes I'm worried that Moyes will not give adequate time to the people who could be the ones to get us out of this position. Even a jetty. I mean, whether a jetty is good enough or not, I, I don't think he can be as bad as he is perceived to be by the club. This guy was tearing it up, albeit in a lower league, but he was doing all right in the Champions League. He's a Swiss international. He can't be that bad. But when you're given five minutes at the end of a game and then it's interrupted by a long injury, I don't know what he's meant to do. Yeah, perhaps he needs to start. And then if, if things aren't working, then replace him. I think it's time for Moyes to think a bit differently. And if we get ourselves out of it, we've got a lot of work to do for next season. Massive thank you to Dom there. Cheers, mate. If you want to get involved, just like Dom's done there, you can send us either your MP3, if it's an audio, MP4 for video, to hammerschat at gmail.com. And we'll upload it all for you. You just... You give your opinions and we'll do the rest.